in your strength, Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So this morning we celebrate the optional memorial of Louis and uh, Zele Marta, the parents of Therese of Lisieux. And so we call to mind our sins and our need for God's mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your saints have given us an example and brought us protection in our weakness to help us tread the path of salvation, mercifully grant that we who honor the heavenly birthday of blessed Louis, Louis Marta and Marie Zélie Roir Marta may through, this, through their example make our way to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you, with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity. Accept that which is good, and we will render the first fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses, and we will say no more our God to the wake of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal the, faithful, the faithlessness. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be as due to Israel. He shall blossom as the lily. He shall strike roots as the poplar. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive, and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They, will they shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom as the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O oh, Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. 
for the way of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth shall proclaim your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgression. Wash me completely from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My God shall proclaim your grace. Yes, you delight in sincerity of heart. In secret you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be white than snow. My God shall proclaim your grace. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. My mouth shall proclaim your grace. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a willing spirit. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and flog you in their synagogues and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear testimony before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you up, do not be anxious about what you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your, your Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver up brother to death, and the father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly, I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading continues the um, assurances from God out of uh, the mouth of Hosea of God's care and tender uh, mercy towards his people. And you, the orphan, finds mercy. I will heal their faithfulness. The whole um, story of Hosea, as you know, is um, one of somebody who finds in his own life uh, a parable, um, a lived out parable of uh, the way God treats his people. Hosea uh, marries a woman who is totally unfaithful to him, and yet he constantly takes her back he uh, forgives her for all her uh, uh, straying from, from his home, from his love, from his family. Uh, and 
always takes her back with tenderness and, and with forgiveness. And he sees in the way he uh, treats his wife and his, his life, he sees a parable of how God treats us, that God is always um, uh, forgiving, God always takes us back um, even more than Hosea himself is able to take uh, his wife back. And so in today's uh, reading, he's saying to them, don't trust in Assyria, don't trust in alliances with other countries, don't trust in your own strength, don't trust in gods you have made with your own hands. Trust only in the Lord who uh, treats you as a parent treats a child, who is as uh, forgiving and as uh, long-suffering in um, his patience with us as a parent is, but infinitely more than any human parent can be. That then touches the, the lives of uh, Louis uh, and Zélie Martin. Both of them wanted to be religious. Um, uh, Louis wanted to join the, the great Augustinian monastery of St. Bernard, um, Zeli uh, was he was refused on the grounds of health, and so was Zeli. She tried to join uh, the the convent of the uh, uh, Sisters of Charity of Saint Vincent de Paul, the ones we uh, always call the the flying saucer nuns. With the they had those great big coronet type uh, um, veils, uh, which, by the way, was in fact uh, a pr protection. They originally used to go onto the battlefields to pick up uh, the, the wounded soldiers. And certainly at any distance, a nun with those sort of coronet-type uh, veils they wore would be seen from a mile away and would not be a target. Um, but she wanted to join them, but her, um, her health also let her down. She, uh, it, w it wasn't strong enough for their work. So uh, Louis uh, became a watchmaker and uh, Zili excelled in um, making Elsenon lace so, um, so well, in fact, um, that um, eventually Louis stopped bothering about watches and joined her to manage her business for her. What is interesting, apart from the fact that they managed to produce five nuns, several of whom have their causes, apart from Thérèse of Lisieux, um, is the very quality of their home life. Uh, Louis had a little place set aside in the house where he could have his meditation. He saw a great uh, deal of God in creation and the beauty of, around him, which he passed on to his children, especially to Thérèse, because we, we know about it, surely he he uh, passed on the same love of, of nature to the other sisters. Um, he divided his day up, even though he was a father and, and, a, and a watchmaker. He carefully sorted his life out so that there was time for God, time for prayer, time for his family. He, um, and he brought the fruit of his co contemplation to his family life as well. Uh, Zili also um, brought uh, her, her prayerfulness to her children so that uh, they were infected, as it were, by this deep love of God and love of one another. It's because they, they form such a wonderful example of what a, a Christian family should be like that their cause was put forward, not just because all their children became nuns, and it's this image of what a parent should be like that you then see coming out of this parallel that, that Hosea is making for how God is with us. And it's trusting in that love of God and trusting in um, God's never-ending love for us that gives us the strength to live out what the gospel is saying to us today, that we should um, go forth in a world that is very uh, negative towards Christianity and trust in God being there for us always and having a plan 
and that everything works to God's good, no matter what it looks like to us at the time. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord God accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Louis and Zele Martin, Bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Stephen our Bishop, Sylvester his auxiliary, and all who serve your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord. 
body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides, says the Lord. Let us pray. <coughs> May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Louis and Azele Martin, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.